into ourselves, the shifting, the ephemera, the stuff we'll never know about exactly. Just let us know. Amen. And here we are. We just came from City Hall where we were on the steps with Global Exchange backing sweat free legislation that would set the standard for the conservatives in New York City who just can't see themselves being fair. Amen. We want to take back this San Francisco inspiration into the muck of pure corruption where we live on the East Coast, hallelujah. Praise be. Set the standard San Francisco. And one of the great things that is happening right now, coming out of the Burning Man community, one of the great things is the idea of temporary, majestic art in public space. Hallelujah. Now this place, this temple, will be for all of us a source of prayer, a source of meditation. We will have setbacks in the next weeks and months. We will have things where we will need to go to a place like this. We will need to confront, to control with, to try to get an explanation about life from the, from the unknown. We'll try to figure out, we'll try to pray, we'll try to have our post-religious experience, amen. This temple helps us with its complications, with all the human hands on it as it aims up into the sky at a place where the freeway used to be. And now we can see Bernal Heights in the distance. It's an amazing thing. It's an amazing place. I'm so grateful to be here at this moment. Hallelujah. And we were coming here from City Hall, where we went from supervisor's office to supervisor's office, <laughs> praying to them, singing to them, asking them to be fair to other people. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, Not to spend the billion dollars in San Francisco tax money for sweatshops. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we come over here. We got a fence in our face, children. <laughs> we do. Nothing is more important. Then what the coming together of Burning Man in San Francisco is doing right now, something we want to take to other cities. The privatizing of public space is being reversed here with this temple. Amen. Amen. If you raise your voice and say, I want peace. I want peace. You just might be told, oh, well, you can't say that here because this is private property and you do not have the protections of the First Amendment here at this place. You can just go almost anywhere right now in New York City and raise your voice, put your hand in the air, and there are 14 surveillance cameras, there's 25 NYPD people, and they're coming down if you can raise your voice. And this bullhorn, I have to have three different permits for this. It would take months to do what I'm doing at this moment. Hallelujah, children. This is terribly important. You are an inspiration to us. We're going to take this back to New York. Even in golden San Francisco, the devil arrives. <laughs> and what we have learned in the Stop Sweatshops Gospel Choir. Yes, Reverend. Amen. That there's only one solution for that deep vault of prison. Tell us, Reverend. That unasked for security. Yeah. We're being saved from ourselves. It's just our money. It's just our space. We're being saved from ourselves at this moment. There's only the one thing to do with these false barriers. And that is to do the same thing that has been done repeatedly over the course of this wonderful, this wonderful country's culture. From, from, from Tommy Jeff and Jimmy Mad all the way to Dr. King. It's always the First Amendment. The one sentence with the five freedoms. It's the prayer for our freedom. Hallelujah. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof.
for abridging the freedom of speech. For abridging the freedom of speech. Or of the press. Or of the press. For the right of the people. For the right of the people. To peaceably assemble. Peaceably assemble. And to petition the government. And to petition the government. For redress our grievances. To Freedom of press. On the right of the people, peacefully to assemble and petition the government for redress. 